Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Powerful beyond measure. Don't let nobody, nobody tell you what you can't do. You can look at my store, you can look at Michael Jordan's store. And when a coach said you're not good enough, he went and made himself good enough. Ain't because I got nothing special. The only thing I got special is I made my mind up to be special. That's it. So I'm not here to tell you no secrets. I'm here to tell you the only thing I know I can do is work. And the only reason I get up and work every day the way I do is to honor God. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. Look who's coming in. Jeremy Lin. example of why we love sports so much this unheralded undrafted underdog comes out of nowhere rescues this underachieving team and he's shining right now on one of the biggest stages in all of pro sports and you grew up good and wonderful it was great just watching every day was like a privilege Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. He can't go left. He can't dribble with his left hand with any degree of efficiency. He's got the it factor, but is he a consistent, bona fide perimeter shooter? No. Nah. I'm sitting here today with you, and I'm telling you, all to your ear, it's your earlobe. He's a marginal point guard. Period. It's what he is. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Because if you're willing to go through all the battle you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, and ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point and finger saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you! You're better than that! And the Knicks will hold it for the final shot. Mike D'Antoni won't call timeout and let the Raptors set up their D. The crowd on its feet here at the Air Canada Center. I'm just thankful to God for, for everything. Um, it's been a different season for me just getting waved by Golden State, going to the Rockets and getting waved there. But like the Bible says, you know, God works everything for the good of those who love Him. And so, uh, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm able to be here right now with this team. Lynn puts it up. We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're gonna make. Leave your legs. Bang! Jeremy Lin from downtown! Amazing here at the Air Canada Center. When I just thank my Lord, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for that shot, man. I was uh, thankful, thankful that it went in. But if I can change one life today, just by telling you to be different, <clears throat> do something different take God with you, I don't care where you go, then do it, then do it.
deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. When I'm done uh, playing basketball, I want uh, people to think of, of me um, a certain way, and, and that is to play basketball the right way, to play um, as, as a team, play unselfishly, to play hard, and, and then off the court um, to really serve and love other people.